Our video today is going to take us through writing equations uh, with graphing and uh, taking them to a graph. Uh, some terms we want to go through in the first part, we've talked about the sequencing part using y equals mx plus b, where m is our movement, b is our beginning number. The x here, if you're asked in a sequencing problem, what is the end term, the 50th, the 70th, whatever term for that. So in the movement, there's no mixed numbers, uh, but you do want to reduce them. Uh, keep them as impropers. For x, you would put in x for or 0 for x, and then that is what equals y, and that's your beginning number here. Uh, we then moved into slope intercept, which again was y equals mx plus b. m in this case now turned to slope, which again was rise over run. And our b is our y intercept, and again we put 0 in for x in our chart. The new one that's going to come out is the standard form. Um, standard form is AX plus BY equals C. A um, couple things that have to happen here is A does not equal zero, B cannot equal zero, uh, and it must be in this form. So it's X plus Y equals C. A goes with X, B goes with Y. So we need to rearrange our equation if we're giving it to this and we're asked for standard form. So you need to rearrange it. Uh, AX comes first, BY comes second and C is on the other side of the equal sign. So here's some examples. 3x plus 5y equals 3. 2x minus y equals 6. So you can see the x and the y, and then there would be our C. So AX, BY, and our C here. Non-examples would be, they're not in that order for 2y equals 4x plus 2, or x equals 6 negative y. Uh, one big hint on this with the AX, cannot have fractions and you cannot have a negative coefficient, so you have to rearrange that. And as through the work, I'll, we'll go through that uh, for that. So if we start here with the mostly used, um, we'll mostly use slope-intercept, but sometimes you have to use standard form because there's an easier, you can use it to find the x-intercept and the y-intercept a little bit easier. So if we're going to put it in standard form, if you're given the slope and you're given a y-intercept, um, what you've got to start with is your slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So what you're going to do is you're going to enter your numbers that you know, you know slope, you know y intercept, and again this is b. So we're going to put our numbers in, we're going to move our x over, and then we have it in the correct form of 2x plus y equals 5, in this case as it goes. So the other one is, if we're going to put this in standard form, we have y equals 1 half x plus 8. We're going to work this in here as we go through it. Uh, we have a negative x, or negative one-half x, we're going to move it over. The problem is we have a negative one-half, so we have both negative and a fraction. So we have to get rid of the negative one-half, and how we do that is we distribute by the reciprocal uh, or the common denominator of that. So when we multiply this through, we're going to end up with a positive x, negative 2y equals a negative 16. Uh, our last one on this case is y equals 2x plus 7. Uh, we have a negative 2x, negative 2x here. We're moving the 2x over. Again, we have end up with a negative 2x here. We cannot have that, so we have to get rid of it by moving and distributing the negative. So that changes it to 2x minus y equals a negative 7. Uh, a few more of these. Uh, as you look at them, you may be given a slope and you may be given a point. These are a little bit more involved in what you've got to do. You're going to start with the y equals mx plus b, but what you're doing is you're trying to find the b. So you know what your slope is and you know what an x and y is, so you're going to put those into the right letters. You're going to set up an equation where you're going to solve for the letter b, so we're going to get the 15 over, and that leaves us with a b of 23. So now what we're going to do is we're going to go back into the y equals mx plus b. We're going to put our b, we're going to put our slope back into the problem, and then we're going to reorganize it into the standard form, or we're going to move the 5x over. But again, we end up with a negative 5x at the front, so we're going to distribute a negative throughout everything, and that simply changes your signs for the answer. On this one, you're only given two points, so in this case, you need to find the slope. So again, we bring back our little formula that we have. We put our numbers in. We solve for slope, so we get 2 over 1, or in our case, we're just going to use the 2. Uh, we're going to find b again, so we're going to use y equals mx plus b. So we put our numbers in, we're solving for the letter b, so we move our 12 over, which would make it negative, which would get a negative 10. 
So once we have all of this, we have our slope, we have our y-intercept, now we're going to go back in and put everything together. So y equals 2x minus 10. We're going to move the 2x over, but again we end up with a negative uh, coefficient out front. So we have to multiply by that part of the, um, the negative. And that makes it 2x minus y equals 10, where our x coefficient is positive. Now for kind of the easier part of this, if they ask you to write it in slope-intercept form, which is the one we're going to mostly use, so this will probably be the only time that we talk about standard form. If you're given an equation in standard form, we're going to move this over by the opposite sign. We're going to divide by 7, and that ends up with y equals mx plus b. And we've already done this as a part of our assignments that we've done in this part. If we're asked to put it in slope form, again, we're just given two points, so we need to have the slope. So we find our slope using our little formula, solving it with our numbers, coming up with a negative 1. Our second part is we're going to put it into uh, y equals mx plus b, but we're going to solve for the b. So we use our ordered pairs, we use the new slope that we just found, we work through and we find that b now is this. So we have our two numbers that we need, we have our slope, we have our b, and we put it in the right order of y equals mx plus b. The easiest out of all of them is simply putting them in slope-intercept form when you're given the slope and you're given the y-intercept. That can't be any easier because you know you already know what your two numbers are. All you have to do is put it in the right spot. So y equals 2x plus 8. One of the last ones that we've got is where they ask you to complete the table using the equation and they give you this and they'll probably give it to you in standard form. So the first thing that you have to do is you have to reorganize what your uh, slope intercept form equation is. So again, we're going to move the negative 2x over, kicks the negative 6 over. So we're going to use this equation. So they'll give you, or they may ask you to come up with the terms uh, for x. And then our second step is we're just going to lay everything out uh, for this. So you end up with a positive 4, negative 6. That's going to give you a negative 2. And then you just have that pattern of negative 2, negative 4, negative 6, negative 8, negative 10 for your answers. Then you're going to take this table and you're actually going to put it on a graph. And you can see that I have my graph going in this direction, which is a downhill line, which again relates to a negative slope, which is what I have. So that's kind of a good way to check it for that. So that's kind of the end all for this section of slope that we're going to do with writing equations and getting those taken care of as we look at it. To end this, just some key points uh, for what we're doing. Um, the first thing is when you're graphing, we're going to use y equals mx plus b. If we're using standard form, we cannot have any fractions or a negative on the first, co first term or the ax. Um, you need to find B if given two points to find the y-intercept, and that is what B is. To find slope, you're going to use our little formula, and then if you're given two points. And yes, you're going to have to do all the work. They're, these are going to be step-by-step -step processes that you're going to have to take advantage of. So hopefully you have the examples. Hopefully you just didn't write down what I wrote, and you listen to what I said on the video as well. Bring your notes. Take it. Take your time on your assignments and good luck.